J. Sarah Media presents the Lion Zone. The Lion Zone is your source for the latest on J. Sarah Catholic High School Athletics. Every week on the Brett and Brett Show, Coach Brett K. and Brett Dawson bring you conversation, Monday morning game analysis, and interviews with coaches, players, and special guests. My name is Brett K., and our guest today is head boys lacrosse coach in his fifth year and 12th year overall. We're discussing and talking about, really, Adam, the – gigantic impact we just you know we just talked to maddie about you know how important you know lacrosse is such a growing sport and you know our ad chris ledyard you know is now created for from an impact perspective a dedicated lacrosse field for practice a wall ball brand new state-of-the-art facilities you know really to showcase you know lacrosse uh, girls lacrosse uh, rugby um, there's football, there's there's everything, but really the mainstay in this and what this does to the, to impact you as the head coach, your coaching staff, and your program all together. Yeah, it's it it's tough to put into words, honestly, the impact that it's going to have on our lacrosse program. Uh, I'm born and raised Orange County guy. Uh, I went went to El Toro. I grew up literally playing in a literal swamp. That's where I grew up, kind of learning how to play because that was the only field that was made available to us because we were the new kids. We weren't organized and everything happening uh the other high schools i was at we were sort of a thorn in the side because we took up field space we had to practice off-site we had to kind of try to find different different ways to, to kind of make ourselves better um and now you you look and you see what happened to the backfields and the investment that they've made in the lacrosse program both the boys and girls there's nowhere else in orange county that's doing that that's shown the investment and is actually um really focusing on every sport here um, we had our first first camp practice on Tuesday, and our coaches were just kind of giggling. We were so excited because we're, we're sitting there doing our drills, and I'm kind of looking around, going, "We have more room. We we can do now. We can do this. Now we can do that, and we can change up our pro our our, our practice planning. We can put different guys where they where they need to be, um, but in in a place that it really just it has everything that we want." Um, and it allows you, you know, having that space. In essence, you could have two fields. You know, you could have one on the back and one on the main. But from a developmental purpose and the wall ball, I would imagine nobody else in Orange County has a wall ball. Nobody else has a wall ball dedicated for lacrosse. And obviously, I know soccer will use it and soft will use it at times. But uh, as far as training tool, and I know when, when they first started making these, uh, the, the fields, I know they talked to lacrosse. That it was the, the number one thing you could use that's kind of for lacrosse. And I said a wall and people did not understand it because they didn't realize that a wall is, is literally the key to, to building your stick work. It's it's a batting cage for baseball, right? It's just the ball always comes back to you. you the, ball never, the wall never gets tired when you're playing catch with it. Uh, and, and so, again, to put that kind of thing in there, no, nobody has a wall ball. There's wall ball courts at places, you know, at, at certain high schools, a lot of public high schools, um, but you're walking, you're not at your practice. This wall ball, I can monitor it. I can, if a kid is struggling with their stick work or if a kid shows they need more work, they can go there while we're practicing. It doesn't interrupt our flow of our practice. It doesn't interrupt their flow of their practice. Um, they're able to go there and kind of dial their sticks in every day. Um, and now it's becoming kind of a meeting place for our guys too, um, community-wise. And and so my last question is this. You had your first workout on Tuesday. You said the staff was giddy. But talk to me about the player feedback. I mean, obviously now it's, you know, it's a dedicated field. I mean, in essence, you could go, you know, hey – Varsity's on this side, JV's on this side. We can go full varsity, whatever we want. But how do the players feel walking off, or at least the feedback that you got? Very similar, right? So, again, we as coaches were, were giddy. I think the kids were, were just excited because, again, we're practicing, and I looked at them and go, hey, this is the first meaningful practice I think we've had on this field in the five years I've been here. And that's not to knock the last one. We still had space, but you had to be way more creative. These kids were just kind of looking around, same thing, being like, oh, my gosh, like we have so much that we can do here, Coach. And, um, even noticing, hey, look, now for pre-practice, those kids are going to the wall on their own or they're shooting. They're doing things that we literally couldn't do just with those backfields. So the excitement that they have, I think, is the same. And right now our program is growing, and we have a lot of new players but a lot of young, talented players as well. So I think they kind of see just the big picture now, and they're going, like, wow, we have so many resources at our disposal. The future is so bright. The school is behind it. It's just an exciting time to be here at J. Sarah and be here playing lacrosse. Perfect. Well, thanks for joining us, Adam Guy, talking about the backfields, uh, the new construction, everything that's been done, dedicated lacrosse field for boys and girls lacrosse. Thanks for being on the show. Thanks a lot, Coach.